Do you think you've mastered neurology? Let's put your knowledge to the test. A 74-year-old presents with cognitive dysfunction, with the patient and family reporting three to five years of progressive memory loss and executive dysfunction. Symptoms began about five years ago with difficulty remembering names, dates, directions, and misplacing items like keys, as well as trouble driving. Over time, the patient became socially withdrawn, stopped managing finances, and required help with cooking and baking over the past year on exam. The patient is alert, awake, and oriented to location. There is significant memory impairment. Three out of three items recalled immediately, but only one after five minutes. The patient can name objects, is fluent, and follows commands but shows reduced attention, poor backward month recall, and a diminished fund of knowledge. No focal deficits are noted. What is the most likely diagnosis? Well, this is not the typical presentation of frontotemporal dementia. Frontotemporal dementia affects primarily the frontal lobes, the temporal lobes, and behavior function. We see symptoms of speech aphasia, speech dysfunction, semantic dementia, and behavioral changes, which are not prominent in this case. This is not the typical description of Lewy body dementia. Patients with Lewy body dementia present with cognitive dysfunction, often subcortical dysfunction, as well as early Parkinsonism, which we don't have on exam or by report for this patient. This is not mild cognitive impairment. The patient's cognitive dysfunction is significantly affecting their daily function. They have retracted from social activities, are no longer working, and now there's a concern about cooking, baking, and safety in the home. This is a typical presentation of a patient with Alzheimer's disease.